you very much. There's Eugene and his buddy uh, apparently planting coral. We'll join him in a second. Today we are anchored in Petit Saint Vincent, a private island located 40 miles south of Saint Vincent in the Grenadine Islands. You are welcome to join us by an amazing expedition. We're gonna go underwater and see a coral reef planting. There's Eugene and his buddy uh, apparently planting coral. We'll join him in a second. It's very really beautiful here. Uh, Are we uh, too late? Just... No, you're just in time. Just in time. Perfect. They were waiting for the transportation. We didn't know that it's really close, so we could walk. We, we could have walked, but it probably wouldn't let us. Exactly. Just put the pods down. And the no. pods are the ones with the new plants? No, the pods are uh, concrete pods uh -huh. with a rebar. Ah, okay, okay. And you stick that That's the, in the, the rubble. Base and, yeah, it's the base. Okay. So I put six of those now, fresh. And mix in cement. So he's gonna go cut from the nursery. He's gonna do right now. Right now. He's gonna do right now. Okay, I'm See gonna. See right there. All right, I'm gonna go jump after it. What we're doing is, in very, very small, specific ways, we are basically planting corals in nurseries, just like you do with plants mm -hmm. on Earth. We take little pieces of coral and we put them on tables that we built underwater. You know, very simple structures. Usually it's uh, wrought iron, you know, rebar, plastic mesh mm -hmm. tied mm -hmm. together so that we have this raised table. Mm -hmm. And we put on cement or ceramic cookies that we build pieces of mostly elkhorn coral acropora mm -hmm. palmata for you biologists out there and it grows fantastically fast okay we started about two years ago and we were using maybe pieces that are you know four five six centimeters and these guys grow at a rate of about six centimeters per year Mm -hmm. So right now we have, you know, they look like this, they're little beautiful crowns on tables. But, but at the moment everything you've got is still in the nursery, correct? The, no, we started or is, all planting. Oh, no, there no, is we, planting we, already yeah, there, we started okay. started all planting already. So yeah. what is the oldest, uh, uh, and maybe I can even ask where is the oldest, just out of pure curiosity, but how, lo how long has there been a one that's been planted and how has, been, how has it been doing? It takes about nine months to a year for it to grow to a size that's good to plant 
on mm-hmm. the coral reef. Mm-hmm. The reason for that is because you have to clean it all the time, you know, as it's growing. It's like a little baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to clear out the impurities, you know, the little snails and worms and, and things. And that beyond that point, it. it can support and, itself. And when it grows big enough and you put it in, in on the reef, it's at a level where it can actually withstand all of these mm-hmm. influences from its own environment and not be in danger of dying as much as when it's a baby. Mm-hmm, okay? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and we've been, we started to outplant uh, about a year ago. So there are some pieces that are already on the reef. We don't know if it's going to work or not. Right, right. We're, we're, we're trying our You're best. Trying. So far, it looks good. So far, the uh, mortality rate is very small. Mm-hmm. You know, from everything we planted, uh, we have more than 90% okay. alive and thriving. The, it's either try or, or give up altogether. Or give up altogether and yeah. say, <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, from cutting from the nursery to cementing. I don't like the cement method. What's the op- what's the other option? Epoxy. Uh huh. Um, so they, t- they tend to fall down. Yeah, cement. So the epoxy is a lot more effective. Because so, epoxy bonds a lot faster, right? Yes. Okay. When you have a lot of surge, a lot of uh, wave energy. Uh huh. Um, then they, t- they tend to fall down. Yeah, cement, so the epoxy is a lot more effective. Because so, epoxy bonds a lot faster, right? Yes. So how do you tell which ones need to be upright and which ones need to be flat? Um, you realize that when I was doing the cuttings, I was kind of looking all around them to, to see yeah. which ones. So I was looking to see which ones were curving up. Okay. And the, they were the slim ones. They're the ones that you, you want to have. Okay. Kind of, uh, up, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and the kind of wide ones and the ones that they're kind of like basins and you put them on the backs so they kind of like eventually they grow like this. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So okay. they have the arms. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so they're quite interesting animals. Yeah. Animal. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was cool. Yeah. Super cool. <laughs> From cutting the uh, the new coral from the nursery, carrying it to the cement pods, and then cementing it in place. And uh, I got to meet second marine biologist in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I am so lucky, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Order something from room service or you need anything, you have a form inside, you fill the form, you check, it's like check, 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 I want this, 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 this. Okay. You tell them what time you want it, right? Yeah, you have to be a little patient. If you want it immediately, there's a phone inside connected to the, to the reception and emergencies, that's it, right? <laughs> but if you're lazing around like you should in a place like this, right? You fill that form, you put it in the tube, and you raise your SD on a flag. Now, now they know they go around in those mini monks. Now they know that you want something. If you want to stay butt naked all day long in your cottage <laughs> and not be it's disturbed us. ever, <laughs> that was for us. This is for us. No. There's a little lizard in the pot. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we're guys. Ilian is kind enough to clean my ear. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I love it. Warm water. Warm water and the luxury for a while. I don't like the same guys anymore. <laughs> 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 Segredos vem da floresta de luz pra te amar, pra te amar. Abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer.